Okay. Subject and agreement. Let you know a sentence. What is agreement of subject with verb? Okay. See. Write a letter. Full stop. She writes a letter. She writes a letter. Can we find an error in this sentence? This sentence has an error. What is that error? Verb is not suitable. It is not correct as for the number of subject. You know that this is present indefinite tense in which simple sentence subject verb plus article plus let known as students are reminded to mute their mics okay she write a letter this is simple sentence of present indefinite tense now what is the agreement of subject with verb as we know that in simple sentence we write uh, you can say simple form of the main verb. Simple form of the main verb, when we add S R E S to the base form of main verb, it is known as simple form of the main verb. And simple form of main verb is used in simple sentence of present indefinite tense. Okay, so she writes, will be writes as for the number of subject hands. And uh, you can say uh, rule or regulation of simple sentence under present indefinite tense. She writes. She writes a letter. Letter. There, there is an error in this sentence. Okay. This is an error. Write. Write will be changed into writes. Writes. Because she is singular noun. She is singular noun. So she writes a letter. This is agreement of verb with its subject. Okay. When we change the subject of this sentence, if we write they at the place of she, they, they, okay, they writes, then we cannot write writes, okay, write will be there, they write a letter, they write a letter, this is known as work on curve, subject agreement with its work, I hope. The meaning of subject agreement or verb concord is clear to everyone. Next. Bravo. This is verb. Which verb? Use of. Use of modals. Has and have. Two books. Now, can we find an error in this sentence? Is there any error? What is the error? Let, let you know. Have and Rahul. If it will be plural, if the number of subject will be plural, have will be correct, suitable. But Rahul is singular noun. As you all know that Rahul is singular noun. So it will accept a singular verb. And singularly, has is used at the place of have. Clear. So Rahul has. Rahul has. Not have. Has two books. Books. Okay. If you are well known and confident in this topic, subject, agreement, or verb concord, you can easily find error, errors out in a paragraph, in a line. Okay. All the errors based on verbs and its forms. Okay. 
verb and its forms. You can easily find them out in a paragraph. Then what will be there are in this sentence? Rahul has two books. If we write they, they, then have two books to table. They have two books. They have two books. As I have taught the topic tenses, you have gone through the topic tenses. Tenses deal with smooth formation of sentences. Okay? If you well known to the rules, formations, and uh, mid verbs, you can easily form any sentence. Okay? And on the basis of those structures, you can easily find out errors in a paragraph. Okay? So it has better to revise tense, active and passive wise for the better knowledge of verb agreement. Okay? With its subject. Now, let you know next a few sentences. The word whom we shall of host. Okay, as you can see on the board, the word whom we shall. Okay. A host. Now, I'll give you two options, two verbs to fill in this blank. First, word was is. Okay? Word was is. Out of these three auxiliaries, you have to fill in the in this line. Okay, so which verb will be suitable in this line? Word is plural now. I mean plural verb. Was it singular? Is also singular. So the word whom we saw, the verb auxiliary will be selected as for the number of we are what? The auxiliary will be selected as for the number of why because this is subject of this sentence the why there are from whom we shall okay whom we shall there is another class which class this is this is relative class it is also known as adjective class okay so the why is the subject because this this class is uh, you know qualifying the why that how the why works Okay, who the boy was. So it is as a two class. The boy whom we saw. Who learned that? This is what we saw. A ghost. A good thing. According to this, it is, it is uh, telling us about the past time. Because we saw the boy in past time. So it is impossible. This can't be used. Word can't be used. So as for the elimination method, was it suitable in this line? Was. Okay. Was it suitable in this sentence? The boy whom we saw was a ghost. This bachyeko amne dekha wo ek gun tha. Eventually, they came to know that he was a ghost. Because the same personality couldn't be seen ever, never, next time. Okay. So he was a ghost. I hope it's clear to everyone. Next sentence. My father, my father bring a new cycle
Yes, sir. Okay. My father bring a new cycle yesterday. Now, you have to find an error out in this sentence. Where is the error? Okay? Where is the error? First of all, let you know the subject of this sentence, my father. This is the subject and the number of this subject is singular, my father. Okay? Not my father's. It is my father. Bring. Okay? Bring means Lana. Okay? A new car. A new car. Car or cycle. Cycle. A new cycle. Yes, okay. Means um, the sun is talking about yesterday. Okay. The moment which has passed already. The moment which has passed already yesterday. So as per uh, the word yesterday, we need to uh, use you know past form of this main verb. Okay. Past form of this main verb. Bring is the base form and its simple form will be brings. Okay. Past form is brought and the past participle form is also brought. Okay. So there is the error. The error is with verb. This verb will be written into past form of it. Okay. How to write? It will be brought. Brought. My father brought a new car, a new cycle yesterday. Okay. This is the correct form of verb to be used in this sentence. This form of the verb was incorrect. It has an error. Okay. Because the study notes that he is talking about one day which has been passed. The day which has been passed. So definitely the form of verb will be past tense. Next sentence. I hope it's clear. Next sentence. They, they, did not, they did not, they did not care to the school. They did not came to school. Who is school? Nahi ayate. As you know, that this is past tense. Did not. Did is auxiliary, so definitely it is past indefinite tense. Okay. Came to school. As you know, that base form of main verb is used in past tense. So uh, this sentence is uh, correct. Can we say that there is no error in this sentence? Definitely there is an error. Ek error hai. What is that error? Let us know that they did not came. This is came. To school. Came in second form, past form of the main verb. Doesn't matter the sentence is past tense and verb will be also past. Okay. There are some rules. Now, this is present sorry past indefinite tense, negative sentence. So, also uh, we know that first form of the main verb means base form of the main verb is used with uh, you know did if it is negative sentence okay so it will be come not came come this is this will be come they did not come to school not came to school remember we are going through the topic of subject agreement which is also known as verb concord okay subject agreement which is also known as verb concord I hope it's clear. They did not come to school yesterday. Now, uh, they, they was. They was punished by the teacher. Oh, they was punished by the teacher. They, the subject, was punished meant for by the teacher. Definitely, by has come with past participle. It is passive voice. 
okay the sentence is passive voice so they is the subject of passive voice definitely it would have been the object of active sentence okay so it has been written as subject of passive voice it means it will accept the verb as per the number of its own okay so what is the number of the subject plural now okay this is plural number so it will accept plural verb so was and were both verbs was and were if options will be there was if it is the blank okay was were okay so which verb will be suitable which auxiliary will be suitable were okay were will be suitable they were punished by the teacher or their teacher they were punished by their teacher i hope you have definitely your grammar book and you will be immersed with many exercises while solving all the exercises in your uh, notebook for the better preparation and uh, uh, enhancement of your knowledge now next sentence that will take uh sangeeta sangeeta do her work daily full stop sangeeta do her work daily this is also simple sentence of present indefinite tense okay let us find an error in this sentence sangeeta its subject which number singular number do her work daily apna kaam daily karti hai okay so what is the meaning of this do i think it's quote it doesn't seem to be correct in this sentence it is does as we used as the main verb it is not an auxiliary do or does okay it has been written as main verb in this sentence do did done okay what is all the forms i mean what are the forms of do if it is main verb do did done so do we use es or as if the sentence is simple of present indefinite so it will be does okay does sangeeta does her work well sangeeta does her work daily sangeeta apna kaam daily karti hai i hope it's clear if you have any problem with the subject agreement if you have any uh, you know statement any sentence in which you are confused with the agreement of verb so just let me know it i'll try my best to clear all kinds of doubts of yours and uh, you can personally send me messages via whatsapp uh, regarding your problem whatever it is okay uh, now students are uh, required to uh, write some sentences in which they will be finding an error and uh, they'll send the snapshot of that face via whatsapp to me okay uh, just i'll reply for that and uh, thanks for watching this video that's it